We moved to the bomb threat emergency that brought parts of the nation's capital to a standstill for five hours today. A man pulling his truck right up to the Library of Congress, telling police he had a bomb, live streaming from his truck. An officer at the time saw what appeared to be something in his hand, potentially a detonator, prompting a lockdown and evacuations for hours. After that five-hour standoff, he surrendered to police and tonight what they found in that truck. Here's our Chief Justice Correspondent, Pierre Thomas. For more than five hours, parts of Capitol Hill brought to a standstill. Multiple law enforcement agencies converging as a man pulls up in front of the U.S. Supreme Court and Library of Congress claiming to have a bomb. Sniper teams ready to fire. Canine units deployed. Bomb squads rolling down the street. I got a bomb in here. I don't want nobody hurt. The suspect identified as 49-year-old Floyd Ray Roseberry rambling, streaming it all from his black pickup truck. Roseberry confronts an officer. The officer said it appeared to be a detonator in the man's hand. Police who saw the streaming video were concerned about this rusty canister. Roseberry claiming to have gunpowder, tannerite, ammonium nitrate, and 2,000 pounds of coins inside the vehicle that could be used as shrapnel. When this bomb goes off, there's going to be four more right behind it. Facebook taking down the video as a number of buildings, including the U.S. Supreme Court, were evacuated. Roseberry taken into custody just before 2.30 p.m. Investigators are also descending on his North Carolina home. Bomb disposal robots seen here outside. David, Capitol Police just told us there was no functioning bomb in the truck, but they're examining whether there were any bombing-making materials. This incident comes at a very tense time for law enforcement. In the wake of the January 6th insurrection, they're worried about everything from al-Qaeda and domestic terrorism to Afghanistan. David? All right, Pierre Thomas and our team following this all day long for us. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.